What's up, physics? Welcome back to the Dirt Bike Shed. Now, today's video is the second video on springs, the second video on elasticity. So, make sure you've watched the other one first because I'm just going to jump right into it. And this video is just going to be some math problems, okay? Now, what we're going to do is test our different bungees. And we're going to come up with the spring constant for some different bungees, all right? Now, I'm going to be putting water on here, and I'm going to put 500 grams of water on it. Please keep in mind, 500 grams is not the force on the, on the bungee cord. The force on the bungee cord is 0 0.5 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, right? So when I say... This is a mass of 500 grams. That's 0.5 kilograms, and you still have to multiply that times 9.8 to get the force. All right? Next thing, the formula, and I'm not writing it down because this was in the last video, the formula is F is equal to KX, or we usually write it F is equal to negative KX because we think about uh, pulling on a spring. So you can think about the distance coming towards you. That's why we say negative kx. All right, here we go. You might be wondering how I know it's 500 grams. Well, I've got a 500 milliliter bottle of water, and you should know that a milliliter of water is equal to a gram, right? Okay, next thing. When we look over here, notice where the hook is. The hook here is right at the top. The hook is on the number two, the bottom of the hook right there. So we're going to hang it. All right? So question number one, I've got this blue bungee cord. I put in 500 grams of mass on it, and it's stretched from two. Let's see here. Stretched from two. To, I'm going to give you a good mark here. It stretched from 2 to 7. So it stretched from 2 centimeters to 7 centimeters. All right? There's your distance. There's your X. Okay, I've switched bungees now, and this is a green bungee. It's a green bungee. And I'm going to change the mass and therefore the force. So we've got 500 grams of water in here. Guess what? I'm going to put another 500 grams. So now we have a kilogram of water. We're looking right here. The spring is originally right here at the number two. Again, just like the last time, we're going to put this kilogram of water on there. We're going to let her go. And now we are down to, it went from two to 29. So it went from 2 down to 29. So it moved 0.27 meters. That's the distance that it moved. All right, so you're going to calculate the K of the green bungee. Okay, remember that's a kilogram of water. It's a kilogram of water. All right. All right, we've got one more bungee. This is the black bungee. And I'm going to put another 500 milliliters, another 500 grams of water in there. So now this one's got 1.5 kilograms of mass. All right. Let's straighten this sucker up right here. Hmm. Right now, the bottom of this hook is on 9. I'm going to put 1.5 kilograms on there. And we are stretching... To, I don't know if you can see that. You, we're stretching to, it went from 9 to 29. Stretched from 9 to 29, but it had 1.5 kilograms. That's the mass, it's not the force. Once again, the formula is F is equal to negative KX. So for those bungees, you need to calculate the K of the spring, or the spring constant. Now, there's going to be another thing we do with springs and energy. In other words, how much energy does it take? 
not force, how much energy does it take to stretch the spring, then how much energy would be released when you let it go. Peace out from the dirt bike shed. That's a really short assignment. You should do it well.